Oh my gosh. I am so excited for this. Hello Disney fans, my name is Haley and welcome back to the Disney Cupcake channel. I would first like to start off by saying that I got my wisdom teeth out last week and that is why I look crusty today and that is also why it looks like I'm talking a little strange. So I apologize for that but I hope you guys enjoy this video. So a couple weeks ago they released wave one of this alien remix collection on shop disney they're releasing plush and pins every saturday here through the first couple weeks of september there are going to be a couple different releases they are currently on the third release which was this past saturday if you're watching the video whenever i posted it Whenever we went to the Disney store, we also saw this wave there. So if you missed out on any of these, go check your nearest Disney store. Some of them are getting this merchandise, and they might have some of the ones from wave one and from wave two. Other than that, they're all sold out on Shop Disney, so just check your local store, or eBay might be the next option. As I said, this is the stuff from wave one. Of these pins they're releasing four pins at a time and I was able to get all of them with the display board very similar to the castle collection if you'd like to check out any of my other alien remix videos I will have them linked down below where I showed the first wave of the Funko Pops my Pixar room tour I'm currently starting to gather some from wave 2 so make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you do not miss that video as well I will also have linked down below shopdisney.com if you would like to check out any of this new Alien Remix stuff. There's also a lot of new Pixar stuff on there for the 20th anniversary of Toy Story coming up here in November. That is why they are doing this collection. I love this board so much. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it looks so cool. This is all limited release. This board was 49 99 this board is all wood so this is different from the castle collection it doesn't have any glass on it so this is a more like kid friendly type collectible so it has the nice wood details it has this plastic here with the outlines of the aliens there are going to be 24 of these pins released here on the back it has this cardboard attached to it with a little description of the alien remix collection if you would like to pause and read it after taking this off here on the back, it actually has this wood like piece that comes out with a little ribbon. So I wouldn't say this is like the highest quality board. This is very like flimsy on the back, which is kind of kind of sketchy. It does have a little metal clip at the top if you would like to hang it. I'm confused with this board. This board was $50 with the pin. I get it. The wood, nice. Very like cool looking, like toy looking. Love it. This super flimsy. Eh. And this is foam, whereas the Castle Collection one, it was like a velvety, like it was a little bit harder. You can see the marks like from my hands from me like opening it. And some of those marks were just there, like they're just scratches. So I, I guess once all the pins are on it, it will be okay, but it just seems to be like picking up a lot of dust on it, which is kind of sad. And there the little claw detail on it is just like screen printed on and it's already cracking so I don't really see that lasting super long if you are going to be putting a bunch of different pins on this board and taking them on and off. Now looking at our remix pin it did come with the Mickey Mouse pin back. This is just the Alien Remix logo. Nice like bold silver outline on this one. Just your basic info there on the back with the different logos. Not a terrible pin. It is very screen printed, so quality is a little bit lost there. It's not that paint filled look that I personally like in pins. And it is very, very textured, very 3D, which I think is super cool. If you are also collecting this series, I highly recommend hanging on to this plastic piece. I will show you how I use that as a little stencil because I'm going to space them out exactly like how they are on like this picture. That way they fit super nicely because there are 24 of them. I really wasn't sure if I was going to collect this series or not because they are individual pins which I think is just it's a lot. 
I really wish they would have just sold them in four packs. I think that would have been better. And each of these retails for $9.99. First, we're going to take a look at the pinbacks. All of the pinbacks are the same, so I'm just going to go over this real quick one time. The pinback looks exactly like the display. It looks like the rocket, which is really, really cool looking. This is series one of six. They are limited release. It has the same Alien Remix logo, the Collect All 24 info, and there is a look at our alien. On the back, it has all of your Shop Disney and pin trading info, and as I mentioned, this retail for $9.99 in the US. This first pin we're going to be taking a look at is Anger. Super bright red, nice fading flame there on his head. I love these aliens dressed up. Our next one in this collection is Buzz, and if I zoom in super close on this one, you can see the line, as I mentioned, where it looks like very blurry printed. So that's just super interesting, but since it is printed, there are a lot of details on it. Lots of textures there on Buzz's costume and very 3D bubble around him. Our third pin in wave one is Arlo, and this one looks hilarious. He's literally just in a costume. I love Arlo's big eyes there on top. The very textured details. Nice and shiny. And our last one here is Nemo. This one has a lot of textures in the fins, which is very, very cool. I, I just love how they find ways to put these costumes on the aliens. It just looks super funny. Okay, so now for putting the pins on the board, it's easier to do this whenever it's laying down. That goes on here, and I'm going to line it up where it is. I'm going to take our first pin here off of its back, and I'm just going to put that pin back in with the rest of the ones I have from my pin board. Nice shiny back on that one, and I'm going to find where Anger is right here. And I'm going to hold this plastic above it, line it up with the same shape, and just push it in. So I'm going to do that for all of them. That way they are arranged the same way that they are on this display, just because I really like how they're all laid out, and that way I know they're going to fit the same way. And then we take this back off, and... There is a wave one on there. It looks kind of random right now. And now for the last item I purchased from Shop Disney. This was $8.99. They also have ones very similar at Target. And they're having a whole different line of them available on Shop Disney. So this was the one released for Wave 1. This is Tinny from the Pixar Shorts. This is a figure made by Mattel. And this is figure number 11. I really like the packaging. I love how it is continuous through all of the different lines that are making this Alien Remix collection. I'm not going to be taking this one out of the box just because I really like the way it looks inside. I love the outfit, the colors. This is very similar to the Pizza Planet one that I reviewed just a week or so ago, I believe. I'll have that video linked down below if you would like to see figures like this out of the box. That figure was so cool and I'm excited to add this one with it. So that was wave one of the Alien Remix collection. I'm actually pretty excited for wave two. After seeing them on the board, I really like them. There are so many more Disney releases coming up and I have so many things ordered, so many packages coming, and you will not want to miss the videos coming up here the rest of the week and next week and for the rest of the year. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!